Welcome everybody, Steve here. You need to check this out. There's a major electrical no-no. You do not just wire a bunch of wires together and leave it inside of a wall. Now the moron that did this, probably the, you know, one of the earlier uh, homeowners, you know, looked at it and said, man, I'm going to save $4 worth of wire, so let's do this. No, that's major wrong. And, you know, like this is like the second one or third one I fixed inside my house. And, uh, you know, I'm just, my neck's getting sore, shaking my head. But anyway, I can't let that go. So what we are going to do is put a junction box up. This happens to be the utility room. So there's, there's nothing up in the ceiling, so I can put a junction box up. Has to be accessible, and uh, that will be for sure. All right, we gotta get this panel off of here, and then, uh, then we can kind of start rewiring. Apologize for the lighting, but it's pretty dark down here. Now this happens to be the main one coming in. So it's the hot wire. I just don't go pulling panels off to look for bad electrical. Uh, actually, I pulled the panel off because I wanted to add a couple of extra Ford 2x4s for another project that I'm working on. So all we have to do is just put an electrical box up here. Put it right about there so I can get the wires in nice and easy. Should be good. Give me a second. Put a couple screws in there. And then we can run a new line. So this line will go in, new line will come back out, down to the plug, and we're, we're at code. It may have been easier to go on this side, but then it wouldn't be hard.
Well, furnace just shut off so I can talk now. All right, we're uh, put a little bit of an S in that so that we've got a little bit of slack in our line. You always want to leave a little slack just in case something happens. And we got lots coming out of here, so we should be good. Okay, I'm going to go back, back down to the plug, get that hooked up, and then we can wrap these together. Turn the breaker back on. I always start with the ground, screw that to the box, and then I uh, just wire or spin the other wire around it so that all the grounds are connected. Like I said, you can use a moret, but uh, you can just spin them together and they're fine. Just push them out of the way when you're done. Now it's just a matter of putting a couple hooks on your uh, new wires and uh, putting your plug back on. Don't forget your staples. And once the wires are on, everything gets really easy from here on. All I have to do is hook the wires together. So we'll attach the ground to the box. Bring the two wires together and we'll just connect them. You can use a moret, but I like to just wind them up. I'm going to use it pretty good. i to find my good pliers though. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go find my pliers. There they are. Well, some guys like to cut it really short. I don't like to. In case you got to do something, just tuck it out of the way. Ground is fine. Now all you have to do is just mrat everything together. He is a yellow or a black moret. Sure, she's good and snug. Tuck everything up. Done deal. That's it. Now we got to put a plate over top of this so that uh, nothing can get poked up in there. And we're done. I 
just flip the breaker back on. Now, get yourself one of these little testers. It just plugs in. And if the two orange lights light up, you're good to go. And if one turns on, or whatever combination, you just look here and it'll tell you what's wrong with your, uh, your wiring. So we got two oranges. Perfect. So that's all there was to it, to do it right. Put a junction box up, add a, another piece of wire, 45 minutes worth of work, and you're done. Now, if you're not comfortable with wiring, make sure that you talk to somebody that's a professional or read up on it. Make sure you go through your uh, code book, find out, you know, how far apart do I have to have my, uh, um, my staples. You know, you have to have certain mounts sticking out of your box. All those little rules, you need to know them. If you're doing stuff for yourself, take some pride, do it right so the next guy doesn't call you a schmuck. So until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.